17 sweaters with over 100% sell through rate that you can pick up to sell on eBay. Let's go. Number 17 is the Pendleton Westerly. Sell through rate is 101%. Average sold price 152 bucks. This is what they look like. Also known as the Dude Sweater or the um, Big Lebowski Sweater. This is what they look like. Let's take a close look at one here. It is a cardigan. This is the design. It's a classic, well-known Pendleton Westerly. You find one of these, 101% sell-through rate, average sold price, 152 bucks. Also known as the Dude Sweater, seen on the Big Lebowski movie. Number 16 is not a brand, but a style. It is the Commando Sweater. It looks like this. It's got shoulder pads, arm pads or elbow pads. It can be wool, it could be cotton, it could be made in England, it could be made in USA, it could be made in China. Doesn't matter, it could be any brand. One of the really popular ones is the LL Bean Commando Sweater. You'll notice as I go through here, there's lots of these LL Beans. You'll also see the original British Army one. Any Commando Sweater, brand doesn't matter is going to be 104% sell through rate with an average sold price of $37. My favorite to find is the LL Bean made of wool. 15 is your friend and my friend, the Lululemon sweater. Any Lululemon sweater is going to have a sell through rate of 110%, average sold price of 40 bucks. Take a closer look at one of these here. This one's called the Surge. So I'm not speaking of any specific Lululemon sweater. Any men's Lululemon sweater has a sell through rate of 110% and an average sold price of 40 bucks. Now the sold price could change a little bit. Obviously 40 is an average. So it, it could vary wildly. So that was number 15 Lululemon. Number 14 is the Aran sweater. This was in my last video. It's a traditional Irish wool sweater. Looks like this. There's going to be different brands. LL Bean being one of the most famous ones. Now let me explain what these guys look like. This is a brand called Aran Crafts. Ireland. So they look like a standard fisherman sweater. And they're made of wool. If you find an Aaron Crafts one, that could help. But any wool fisherman sweater could also be called an Aaron sweater. Now, technically, they're supposed to be made of merino wool, untreated, that still has the lanolin oils in the in the yarns. But now we're splitting hairs. All right, so that is number 14, Aaron sweaters. Make sure you look out for the fisherman sweater. Wool is going to be better. And like I said, L.L. Bean is one of the, the more famous ones. So if it looks like a fisherman sweater with the deep, if you're not familiar with fisherman sweaters, I guess I should cover that. Fisherman sweaters are sweaters with the big thick knits like this and the big rope chain looking sweaters. That's what a fisherman sweater is, and it usually has a big fat collar like this. Those can also be called Aaron sweaters, and if you use that in your title, you get 113% sell through rate and a $48 average sale price. 13, we have the rag sweater. The rag sweater, this is a lot of these are improperly named. These are not rag sweaters whatsoever. This, however, is a rag sweater. Rag sweaters look like this. It's like usually cream colored or with brown speckles and it's wool, usually wool. Um, I should note that any of the sweaters I'm talking about will get more money if they're wool. Any of these could be considered cotton, but they won't go for as much as the wool ones. So a rag sweater, what makes it a rag sweater is the fact that it will have speckles on it like such. This one here is a rag sweater. 
They could be cardigans, they can be pullovers, they could be full zips, they could be half zips. If it's cream colored or any color with little speckles in it, could technically be called a rag sweater. If it is, it has a 118% sell through rate and a $36 average sale price. That's the rag. So the last couple have been styles. Now we're gonna get into an actual brand. This is our good friend Wallace and Barnes by J. Crew. Weighing in at a sell through rate of 123% and an average sold price of $40. Number 12 is Wallace and Barnes. It's a brand, so you're gonna come across all kinds of styles. This one's a cardigan, this one's a pullover polo look. This one's a fisherman sweater, another cardigan. This is a cardigan with the Aztec look. Let's take a close look at one of these so you can see the tag. Hopefully they got a close up. Did you get a close up? Keep scrolling. All right. This is what the tag looks like. Wallace and Barnes Garments of Distinction. You see that brand on any sweater. It's men's. Pick it up for 123% sell through rate and average sold price of 40 bucks. Number 11 is another style. So any brand doesn't matter. If it's a roll neck sweater, let me show you what a roll neck sweater looks like. This is what a roll neck sweater looks like. So that's kind of not a great, that's not a great uh, roll neck sweater. Hold on. This is a good roll neck sweater. So this is what it looks like. Now, funny thing is in women's sweaters, they call roll neck sweaters these, where it looks like a crew neck that wasn't hemmed and it just kind of rolled over a little bit. And in women's, they also call roll necks the ones that are super tall and you roll them down. So it's like a big turtleneck that goes all the way up to your lip, basically, and rolls down to be a big weird turtleneck folded thing. In women's, that's also called a roll neck. In men's, you're not gonna see that much. Roll necks look like this for what we're talking about. For our purposes, this is a roll neck. Okay, it looks like a crew neck that's been unhemmed. Any roll neck sweater, you're gonna have a sell through rate of 130% and an average sold price of 40 bucks. As I said before, wool's gonna sell better than cotton. Cool brands are going to sell better than no nothing brands, but any roll neck is going to sell really fast and you'll get decent money for it. So keep an eye out for roll necks and make sure you don't confuse it. That's a roll neck in men's. So that was 11. So 10 is these guys, bird's eye sweaters. Bird's eye is another style. It's not a brand, it's a style. This is what bird's eye looks like. It's a sweater where if you look up close, it has little dots that are kind of diagonally shaped like this. That is a bird's eye sweater. You see these sweaters, pick them up and sell them. Bird's eye has a sell through rate of 131%, average sold price of 49 bucks. Any brand will do, any material will do. Wool is better and well-known brands are better. But this is what the bird's eye looks like. It typically will have a ring neck like this and contrasting trim like this and LL Bean is one of the best um, I've probably mentioned it already but I did a whole deep dive on LL Bean video I highly recommend checking it out because it's one of the most common sweaters out there and some of them go for quite a lot of money so that's the bird's eye number 10 weighing in for a number nine Weighing in at a sell through rate of 136% and 101 American dollar average sold price, we have our good friend Fear of God. Fear of God sweaters, FOG essentials technically. The total market size is small, it's 218. That means you take the active and sold, add them together, it's only 218 pieces on eBay. This is what they look like all kinds of different styles so this is a brand it's not a style so anything you see that has FOG essentials on it and it's a sweater you can expect to get 136% sell through rate out of it 101 bucks average sold price 
A lot of them will have the big gaudy essentials written across the front if it's a hoodie. Sometimes it'll look like this where it's just a regular fisherman sweater. Okay, so FOG essentials or fear of God essentials, you will definitely get 136% sell through rate and 101 bucks average sell price. That's number nine. Coming in at number eight, weighing in at an impressive 143% sell through rate. Total market size of 451. That's pretty healthy. Average sale price 122 bucks. It is your friend Filson. Because this is a brand, it could look like anything. Look for the tag. Look for any tag that says Filson and it's a sweater or sweatshirt or cardigan or sweat jacket or hoodie or vest. Any sweater by Filson. You can expect good money. Wool is better, cotton is worse. Wool blended with something can be good. $122 average sold price. And these are some recent solds. So this is what some of them look like. Let me get a close up of one of the tags if you've never seen a Filson in the wild. So this one is 100% virgin wool, 174 bucks pretty good keep an eye out for Filson it's right up there what was it number number uh, eight was Filson now we're getting closer to the top number seven are um, Norwegian are they I think or sweet Swedish whatever they're called Fjallraven this is what they look like and this is any Fjallraven so this is a brand wide bolo 147 percent sell through rate $55 average sold price. Fjall Robin. This is what it looks like. Any style. Doesn't matter. If it's cotton, that's fine. If it's wool, that's even better. This is what the tag looks like. Pick it up if you find it. And you will sell it quick and you'll get good money. That was number seven. We're getting up there. Number six is Todd Snyder. They did a lot of, um, I guess you would call them collabs with Champion. This is what they look like. They did the vintage Champion style tag. So a lot of people find these and they think they're vintage, but they're not vintage at all. They're a brand new um, collab they did. Anyways, that's just one of the things for Todd Snyder. There's also normal ones like this. A regular Todd Snyder sweater. You see the Todd Snyder tag? Pick it up. The sweaters will sell for 152% sell through rate. Average sold price 58 bucks. Total market size 442, which means they're out there. They're not uncommon. They're not they're not as common as LL Bean or Eddie Bauer or something, but they're out there. They're not that rare. Find Todd Snyder, pick it up, sell it for good money. That was number 6, number 5 in the top 5. Here we go. Number five, drum roll, brrr, Psycho Bunny. The ridiculous brand that nobody knows why people care about it. This is what it looks like. This one probably did good because it's got the big gaudy logo there. But any Psycho Bunny, if it's a quarter zip, if it's a sweatshirt, if it's a sweater, if it's a hoodie, cardigan like this, half zip like this, quarter zip like that, any of these. Psycho Bunny will sell for $32 average sold price, so you're not going to get a ton of money, but it will sell 198% of the time within 90 days. So the sell-through rate alone is enough to make you care about this stupid brand. Pick it up. Flip it quick. Number four. Of all the best sell-through rate sweaters on eBay, your friend Arctrix. Sell through rate 209%, average sold price 58 American Dolores. Total market size 272 sweaters bought and sold in the last 90 days. So it's a brand wide bolo, meaning anything by Arctrix, pick it up no matter what. 
This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get a good picture of a tag. This is a classic. These are the ones I find. The half zips or the quarter zips. I find these the most. There's the tag. And it has a little, looks like an ancient dinosaur or something. I don't know, like a fossil. You see that? Grab it and sell it. Arcteryx is number four. Number three, now hang on to your hats for this one, kids. This guy here, number three, Amiri. The reason this one gets me excited is because the average sold price is 232 American pesos. 232 bucks for Amiri. Sell through rate, 246% of the time it will sell within 90 days. All kinds of styles with these things. Um, they're not very common. Total market size, 284. So it's actually more common than Arcteryx. I've actually never found one. But I don't find that many sweaters that often where I am anyway. But I do find I do find a fair amount, but I'm not in Michigan or something where there's a thousand sweaters in every thrift store. So these guys, it doesn't matter the style. I mean, hoodies. There's a lot of hoodies actually. Sweat shirts, pullovers, quarter zips. I would assume all this junk. These Amiri's. You see this? Let me see if I can find a good tag. That is a very, very boring tag, but that's what it looks like. You see this where it says Amiri? Just buy it and sell it. That's all I can say about that. That was number three. Number two, we're almost done here. Everybody knows about the classic Patagonia Cinchilla. This thing has been a bestseller for as long as I've been reselling, and that's a long time. Cinchillas are 292% sell through rate, $61 average sale price. Market size, 5,100. They're out there. This is the best of the best for bread and butter items. If you find a cinchilla, 100% pick it up and sell it. Average sold price, 61 bucks. I mean, you can't, you cannot go wrong with these things. Cinchillas, and, and this is specifically cinchillas. There's other Patagonias that don't do as well. But the cinchilla does always, always, always sell 292% of the time within 90 days. This is what they look like. It looks like a fleece situation. A lot of times it'll have like a contrasting thing on the collar or a pocket like this. It'll always have the Patagonia logo. And it'll say Cinchilla sometimes if you find the content tag. The USA made vintage ones sell for a little more. This is the inside tag, Common Threads Partnership. You'll see that. There should be a style number. There it is. Look up that style number. You're going to find out it's some kind of Cinchilla. I don't know specifically what they mean um, inside their company, what cinchilla is supposed to mean. I would assume it has to do with synthetic because that's what this is. It's polyester. So you see a polyester fleece thing by Patagonia. It's probably going to be called a cinchilla. Pick it up 100% of the time for a 292% sell through and 61 diggity diggity dollars average sold price I don't know if you're ready for this if the excitement's killing you or what but this actually surprised me quite a bit I knew about this item because I had found it in the past and I knew that it sold very quickly I was quite surprised how much money I got and how fast it sold but you wouldn't believe me if I told you this if we just met on the street but I'll show you the data to back it up the number one fastest selling sweater that I've been able to locate on all of eBay is actually a J. Crew. Let that sink in. 
It's a J. Crew. It's a J. Crew roll neck sweater, men's. Okay. Sell through rate 326%. Sold price $54 average. Total market size 209. It's not that common, but it's the J. Crew roll neck. This is exactly what it looks like. I have found it more than a few times. And it's crazy because it's rarer than a Miri, and I've never found a Miri. But I've found these more than a few times. You find a J. Crew roll neck. Especially if it's lamb's wool or any wool or even cotton. A J. Crew roll neck that looks like this. This is a roll neck. This is a cross between the women's style roll neck and the men's style roll neck I was talking about earlier. This one goes up a little bit before it rolls down, but it's actually just an unhemmed piece of cloth that goes up on the neck. So let's look at some more of these. Yeah, the J. Crew roll neck. This is it. It's really kind of a stiff material. This one looks cotton. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. But I've seen about a billion sweaters and I can tell cotton from a mile away. Because I usually pass up on it. But not the J. Crew roll neck. If I see a J. Crew roll neck, I don't care if it's cotton. Perfect example right here. This is exactly what you're looking for. J. Crew roll neck. Just like this. Cotton doesn't matter. If it's wool, it's going to get more money for it. But even if it's cotton... Pick that bad boy up. A lot of times they'll be on hem too, like this is on hemmed. The J. Crew roll neck, kids. The best sell through rate of any sweater on eBay that I could find. 326% for a J. Crew. And there you have it. The 17 sweaters you can sell on eBay with the highest sell through rates, all of them over 100%. And now I think it is time to put in a couple of honorable mentions. Any L.L. Bean wool sweater. Why didn't it make it into the list? Because it had 88% sell-through rate. Keep in mind, L.L. Bean is a massive brand. Some of the wool sweaters that have sold on eBay were pretty boring looking, just plain pullover wool sweaters no one really cares about them some of them were fantastic with cool designs but they get a slot as an honorable mention because 88 percent sell through rate is pretty good when your brand has 6600 total pieces on ebay bought and sold 33 dollar average sold price so any L.L. Bean wool sweater that you find is worth looking up and probably going to be worth buying if it's wool. As I said earlier in the video, you need to watch my L.L. Bean video I just did. It's very entertaining. Actually, it's probably not very entertaining because I'm not very entertaining. But I promise to give you good information. So the L.L. Bean is good information on the L.L. Bean brand. So, yeah, buy sweaters, buy these sweaters that I told you about, um, and get good money for them and sell them fast. Keep in mind, wool is better than any other material when it comes to sweaters. Style matters a lot. Plain is not good. The more plain it is, the less money you're going to get. The more exciting it looks, the more money you're going to get. And sadly, with sweaters... The scratchier it is, the more it's probably worth. I don't know why. You'll never catch me wearing one of them scratchy things. But, yeah, sweaters. Pick them up. Bye.